Hey gang, hope you're doing well and hope you had a great Easter. Drew back here on Z Code System to talk to you about the NBA playoffs and the play-in tournament 2023, which will tip off on Tuesday, April the 11th, as we will whittle down some more teams to get into that playoff proper, which will begin on Saturday, the 15th of April. So the NBA playoffs are ready, but we've just got that play-in tournament to take place first. And as you can see right on your screen there, we've got our blog up, just posted it for the NBA playoffs and play-in tournament. We've got our preview there. And as you can see, the Bucks are the favorites to win the NBA title for the second time in three seasons, according to leading sports books. So you can go over there. You can read up on all the information I put there, put in the dates of the playoffs and the different rounds that we're going to see. We've got the odds that are freshly uh, baked and up there on the website and you can find out some other information there as well as the schedule for the play in tournament i'm going to talk you through a few things here uh, on the video here on youtube as we get ready for the tournament we'll talk about some odds and some different things so you can check that out there the blog and of course as always you can check out all the other blogs that we post there we've got some nhl hockey we've got uh, a preview for the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs that are that are beginning, and we've got picks that go up every week that you can get for free without signing up to Z Code System. But of course, you can always sign up to Z Code System to get the latest picks, systems, and all the tools that we have there to help you make educated sports betting picks. Whether it is soccer or basketball or Major League Baseball or hockey, we've got you covered here at Z Code System. Now, if you don't want to sign up at the moment, you can always follow along here on YouTube with all of our videos as well as read the blogs. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel because that really helps us. And if you can like the videos, that also helps us get into the algorithms here on YouTube. And of course, if you feel like commenting, letting us know who you are backing and who you are betting on and who you are picking, then that is fantastic. We would love that and appreciate it here on the Z Code System community. All right, guys, let's look a little bit further into the NBA playoffs and the play-in tournament, which tip off this week. And we're going to look at the online betting odds, and we're going to specifically look at William Hill today. So as you can see there, I've got the William Hill, excuse me, the William Hill um, website open uh, here in the UK. I'm using that to show off the NBA betting odds. Now, I typically use Bet365, but I'll also use William Hill or uh, some of the other uh, popular betting sports books here in the UK, Pally Power, uh, Ladbrokes. Um, so just trying to give you a different um, a different look at the, the betting odds. Of course, you probably have your own favorite sports betting uh, company and website. And also, you may want to go into the the, the bookies, the, the traditional stores. Um, I haven't. I don't think I've been into the traditional bookies in a couple of years since probably before the COVID pandemic. Uh, I do all my uh, betting online, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. Um, but of course, you can. However you do it is is up to you. You do you. All right. So we've got the playoffs that are tipping off this week. So we've got the play-in tournament first happening, which is going to start on Tuesday, April the 11th. And we're going to see that play-in tournament unfold over the course of four days, the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. We will see the play-in tournament. Now on the blog, I have written about the, the play-in tournament. If you are not familiar with it or you forget how it works and um, basically um, – it's a bit convoluted, but you're going to have to go over there and to to read up on that. Uh, basically, teams have two chances to win themselves a place in the eight-team playoffs. Uh, in the play-in tournament, we're going to see the New Orleans Pelicans, the Oklahoma City Thunder playing each, playing each other, along with the LA Lakers and Minnesota Timberwolves playing in the play-in tournament. Uh, over in the Eastern Conference, we've got the Toronto Raptors and Chicago Bulls dueling it out, as well as the Miami Heat and the Atlanta Hawks. So as I said... You know, teams have two chances to get into that um, uh, into that final place in the playoffs, or those final two places in the playoffs. All right. So, like I said, go over to the blog, read up on all that, how teams will get in. So, tips off on April the 11th, and as you can see there, we've got betting odds here on William Hill for those games already. And it looks like the Hawks are the favorite going into, excuse me, I should say that again, the Miami Heat are the favorite going into that game there in the Eastern Conference. We've got the Lakers as the favorite against the Timberwolves in that in that matchup. Uh, the Raptors favorited over the Bulls. 
And then we've got the Pelicans, who are the favorites over the the, uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder in those play-in round games, which will be taking place. And as you can see, those are UK times. That's the 12th and 13th here, but also taking place on the 12th there in the States. All right, so some exciting things going on there. Now, the Milwaukee Bucks were the best team in the regular season uh, in the NBA. And as I scroll down here to look at the outright winner's odds, you can see that the Bucks are the bookmakers' favorites to win the NBA title. Now, they won it in 2021. Did not get back to the NBA Finals last season. That was the Boston Celtics who got to the Finals last season, losing to the Golden State Warriors. But as you can see, the Celtics are second favorite, according to the bookies, at plus 350. So those are our two favorites right there, the Eastern Conference, uh, getting tipped as the stronger conference going into the playoffs. Now, if you remember, like I said just a second ago, Golden State won the NBA title last season. Golden State barely making the playoffs proper. They're going to play the Sacramento Kings. Uh, the Warriors are the number six seed. Kings are the three seed in the first round. And uh, that's a big matchup. I've seen a lot of uh, people getting excited about that matchup between those two teams, Gus, because part of that is they are regional rivals. So uh, that should be a, a good series. Another good series, I think, is going to be that Phoenix Suns LA Clippers series. Now, as you can see, the Suns are plus 450. And despite not finishing as the second or the first seed in the Western Conference, bookies have the Suns as uh, the third favorite to win the NBA title, which I think is maybe a little bit too overvalued there. Um, Kevin Durant, though, perhaps that uh, that trade for him in the middle of the season is the reason for that. But the Nuggets, who were the best team in the Western Conference and the number one seed, they're plus 900 going into the playoffs, which coincidentally is the same as the Golden State Warriors, who were the number six seed and only got into the playoffs proper instead of the play-in tournament, courtesy of a uh, a single win. over the um, And that was just one win better than the LA Lakers. Now, if you look at the Bucks, the Celtics, and the 76ers, both of those teams, or excuse me, all three of those teams, had a better uh, number or a better total of wins than the Denver Nuggets, the best team in the Western Conference. So um, all three of those teams had 54 or more wins, while the Nuggets had a 53 and 29 record. So, you know, some interesting things going into this playoffs and uh, some exciting things, I should say, going into this playoffs as well. And the Bucks will fancy their chances of winning this, uh, but it's going to be a difficult one for them uh, and the Boston Celtics. Uh, they'll possibly meet in the conference finals. And right now, looking at the Western Conference, it, you know, it feels a little bit more wide open than that than that uh, Eastern Conference. Uh, in the East, we've got the Bucks playing the number eight seed, which who we'll find out from the play-in tournament. Then we've got the Cavaliers and the Knicks, which that feels a bit, um, you know, evenly matched. And then the 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets, which got to think that the 76ers will win that series. And then, of course, we've got the Celtics taking on the number seven seed. Now, over in the West, we've got the Nuggets and the number eight seed, who we'll find out from the play-in tournament. Then we've got the Suns and the Clippers, and I think that is going to be an evenly matched four and five. Fours and fives are, are usually rather evenly matched in tournaments, so I think that, uh, that that series could go either way. And as you can see, the Clippers are plus 2,500 to win the NBA title. And then, as we said before, we've got the Kings and the Warriors as a three and six uh, matchup. And then, of course, the Grizzlies taking on the number seven seed. Now, to look back at our last 10 NBA champions, we can go back to 2013, and we had the Miami Heat winning the title that season, the Spurs winning it in 2014, Golden State Warriors in 2015, Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016, then the Warriors doing the double in 17 and 18, then we had the Raptors picking it up in 2019, the Lakers in 2020, the Bucks in 2021, and the Warriors again in 2022. So as you can see in that 10-year span, we only had one team winning it in back-to-back -back seasons. So Really, with the Warriors having a down season compared to you know what you would thought they would have had this year after winning the title last year, it looks possibly like they may not repeat as NBA champions. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know who you're backing to win the NBA title, who you think is going to win the conference championships. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm a, I'm a Celtics fan. I've been a Celtics fan since I was a kid, and uh, I'm, I'm pulling for the Celtics. Is that going to make me... Put an outright winner's bet on the Celtics? Possibly. Maybe a little fun bet, but we'll see going forward. Let me know who you think in the comments below. 
who's going to win the NBA title. And of course, always, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. That's a great way to support us, liking the videos and subscribe to the channel and sharing these videos on social media. And also go over and read the blog and get all that other information we have over there. I'll see you guys here soon on YouTube. And good luck with your NBA betting on the play-in round.